Christine from Happily Ever After. I have been absent for a while and I wanted to give you an update in this video. My absence was uh, partially related due to the fact that my apartment burned down and I was homeless for two months. And uh, as you can see now, uh, my boyfriend and I uh, found a new apartment and we are settled again, like, luckily. This morning I was uh, going on my YouTube account again and I actually found out that I have 13 subscribers. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, some of my videos have even 400 views, so I'm completely blown away by your response uh, to my videos. And I'm so grateful that you actually like the content that I created. And uh, first of all, a big, big thank you to everybody who was caring and who was commenting. That really made my day today. On my part, uh, in the past month, I had ups and downs. And uh, funny enough, the, the fire was actually one of the moments that I was least depressed. Uh, when I saw my apartment, I might insert a picture just now. When I saw my apartment, um, like some switch in my brain stopped. Like I had some sort of switch in my brain. And uh, it was a catastrophe. Uh, it looked like a war zone. And uh, for some extent, my brain went into survival mode. So this survival mode made my brain function in a very efficient manner and uh, I was not crying, I was not uh, complaining, I was just focusing on what has to be done in order to get back to uh, a normal life. So I was basically sleeping uh, four to six hours a night for a week, um, making lists during the night, what I have to uh, get out of the apartment, what I have to save, uh, where I have to look for, what where what kind of papers I need to find, whatever. And um, I was doing those lists and just, like me and my boyfriend, we really, uh, we really took it in a good way to some extent. And um, then after the first period of intense survival mode was over, you kind of get into the, like, okay, now we have to find something new. Now we have to really like start looking for an apartment. So start waiting for the money that comes from the insurance. Luckily we had an insurance, so we didn't lose everything and couldn't replace it. That was a bit more stressful, but um, now I'm actually doing okay. Yesterday I had a really good news that I can go to Vancouver in, uh, in the autumn, and uh, I'm discussing with my psychiatrist why I have those ups and downs, and I will tell you later. And secondly, I contacted the psychologist to just get my my brain functioning, kind of work on that a little bit. And I feel like the two would probably um, complement each other very well. Like, I will figure it out. And I will keep you updated, and I'm so grateful that you follow me and that you commented and told me about you having depression as well. So I'm glad that we're not alone. I'm glad that we're a team and that we can meet each other. And my kitty, my kitty is trying. <laughs> My kitty is trying to uh, play with the camera. Cutie. Yeah. Anyways, uh, kitty is new too. It's uh, one of the benefits of having a fire in your apartment. <laughs> like this apartment without cats. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm quite happy now. And um, tomorrow might be different. And I will figure out why that happens. And I will let you know. Thank you so much for watching.